everyone, this is the Mad Salvi letting you know that unless things are proven with Twitter posts and stuff like that and actual, have actual proof behind it, treat everything in this thing as a theory. I will mark try to mark certain things as news and theory and everything like that to kind of let you guys understand, but also, you know, use a critical mind. And I hope you do enjoy. Before we get started with everything, I needed to do a correction slash apology for the coverage that I had when it came to the person who is uh, being a little bit too obsessive with Taiga. There was a content creator that was mentioned there, and I misunderstood and mis misconstrued what they put in their video. And that was a misunderstanding on my part. And because I misunderstood, there was uh, an error in reporting. Uh, that was my mistake. I do apologize to the creator, and I apologize to their community, and to you guys for missing the mark on that one when it came to that specific creator. Not the one on Twitter, but the creator that they mentioned. Uh, I do apologize for that. Thank you. People here are wondering about the uh, Kotoka, if Kotoka has an update. Uh, Nippon Broadcasting System announcer Naoki Yoshida subordinate, Ken Isho, asked the hottest VTubers in VOV. This time, the guest to Arahime Kotoka, which is, of course, the Kotoka from Nidi Sanji. Uh, although her first language is Japanese, she's a multilingual VTuber gal with perfect to Toeic score. To toeic, what, what, whatever, Toeic. Uh, it's basically, you know, the English Japanese uh, thing. And um, here she is. She's talking about everything. Of course, this doesn't mean that she's necessarily going to be coming back anytime soon. As you remember, it may, and I'm just going to remind you guys, Hollow Life has this too, where like to Toa from JP has been out on, uh, you know, hiatus before. So has Kiara. So has Gura. Gura uh, was on long, months long hiatus. But she was still doing contract work under uh, Hollow Life, things that were needed for her contract, like you know the um, the aquarium thing, other maybe uh, covers, other you know contractual obligations that she has to do, whether they be dance lessons, etc. Anything contractually she's obligated to do, she can do that even, and she a lot of times they have to do that because they're not gonna, uh, especially in large corpos, they are not going to switch your schedule around just because you decided to take a hiatus unless it's like Hachama where she had the the health hiatus that was a moment where everything contractually was paused because at the very least Hollow Life has seemed to care about you know the uh, mental or in her case medical issues that were going on so like this person says here just because you are in hiatus doesn't mean you can skip out on things you can either signed up for or were given to do that's a thing in Johnny Corporal VTuber. Just because they are on hiatus doesn't mean they aren't doing background work. Uh, sure, there's most likely less work. They don't have to prep for streams, like schedules, perms, etc. But they're definitely do doing other obligations, projects, collabs, prep for future events that need to be done, as well as planning for when eventually return. We will have to wait and see what happens with Kotoka, though. Once she will return to streaming, wait on a contract, and then leave or stay on hiatus, and other JP livers have done, we don't know, and that's only time will tell. Because she's been, for over five months, she's already been there since it's been... Um, I think it was sometime around February that she did it. And uh, I think it was like February 17th, February 18th, something like that, where she had her announcement that she was pretty much going to be off. She's been off for about five months, five and a half months or so. Uh, and this person also says there's different levels of hiatus. Streaming hiatus, which obviously means they don't stream. Then there's activity hiatus, where they're not supposed to do anything, not even work. That's what happened with Hachama. Hachama from uh, Hollow Live uh, JP. Uh, she was on an activity hiatus because she was in the hospital. Uh, Mio as well. Mio was it was in an activity hiatus. That's the most recent one I can remember um, because she was she had gallbladder things. She had medical issues, so that was a big issue that she had. She could not do any activities, not even you know contract stuff. And usually, uh, people you're contracted with will understand. And sometimes you have to pay penalties for that, but most companies are okay with that. They factor that into their uh, their yearly. Spend expenditures. This is just a question. This is just a thought exercise. I like putting these in here occasionally. Uh, I don't think these are low-hanging fruit. I just think these are nice thought exercises. Will Hollow Stars ever surpass Suxium? They may not even have to. Uh, of course, do not go bug them about like, oh, you know, you're finally catching up to Luxium. You're finally doing this to Luxium, blah, blah, blah. Keep going, that kind of thing. Don't bug them with that kind of stuff. It does become harassment at some point. Uh, but this person says, highly doubt it, but it's not like they even need to. Forget it, you even Vanguard. Got their 3Ds way before Luxium, not to mention the difference in quality. Luxium may still have twice their viewership on average, but they're now living in the shadow of their golden age, while the stars are living in their best life. Exactly. Um, they already peaked, and they're now dropping based on their peak. Of course, like I said, I never actually go against any of the livers, except, you know, the ones that have done bad. 
Like, for example, Vox has a lot of things he needs to apologize for because he has made a lot of mistakes as a human would. But those are the things that I criticize him for. Also, you have Luca, who has done some things in the past that he needs to apologize for, of course. Luxie may still have twice their viewership. Uh, like I said, their golden age while stars are having their best life. Besides, they already have more than they could ask for financially with all the memberships gifts they consistently get. Seriously, just hang out in their chat for one or two streams. You're almost guaranteed to end up with a green by the end of it. They have a medium-sized dedicated audience that works fine by the way it is. Except for Betel. Betel somehow pulls better numbers than present Vox on his regular streams. Go, da go, calm man, go. Exactly. It, they're doing well. They should be um, judged based on their on where they came from, not where they are meant to go. They're going to keep growing because Hololive is going to continue to support them and continue to push them because it's a Yago's personal project. So, of course, he's going to push them, but he also doesn't forget to push everybody, the girls included. Unlikely but not impossible, it doesn't really matter anyways. Star and Luxium cater to two different audiences. Uh, Luxium does more to the Fujoshis and Star is the general audiences. The stars kind of have to compete with the Hollow girls and the same viewers so they can figure out how to pull viewership from outside. The current viewer, the VTuber audience expect low, slower growth, of course, because they're not going to Fujoshi's. They're not going for this boyfriend experience thing. They're going for just general VTuber audience. And that's harder to grab, harder to get away from where their Oshis are. So that it has a harder hill to climb than Fujoshi's where you are trying to get the boyfriend experience going. A small break for positivity. I like giving positivity where it is due. Kaya Hara is a lucky VTuber mama to have two Corpo kids with three day debuts within 24 hours of themselves, bringing a total to three. The VTuber, uh, the other one was Miyako Seto and Shiori Novella was the big one, of course. Uh, three day debuts, both of them had the same mama and I thought it was cool that the dates just happened to align. And with Sukoya uh, showing up in Miyako's showcase, all three of Kaya Hara's VTuber kids got the 3D, all of them the same day. This is Miyako over here and the other one is uh, Sukoya. This is Miyako. And here's Shiori Novella, of course, uh, from Hollow, Hollow EN. And here is Sukayo, if I'm mistaken, that's his name. They both appeared. So two of, of the Mama's VTuber children appeared in the same one. And then you have uh, Shiori Novella, who looks not like she's going to, uh, not like she has like a knife anywhere near her. But, uh, you know, not she, does, she doesn't look like Yandere. She doesn't look Yandere at all, of course. But yes, this is all good. It's like, why did you watch Shiori in 360p, my guy? auto to 480p it seems actually my system is kind of reaching and not necessarily on its last legs but you can see the tweak knee state miyako's model looks say so but didn't even recognize that she is from the same mama as shio in miyako may look say so but the stuff that went down in 3d was anything but you gotta love when they can express themselves fully however it was even if it's say so stuff you know it's always good fukumaki yuka a former member of bushi roads irodori entertainment needs a 3d debut as soon as possible I uh, definitely give out the same vibe they did. They kind of do. It is. It's. It's cute. It's cute. I like it. And I wanted to give you guys this. This. You know. Hit of. Uh. Kind. Like cuteness. Hit of positivity. Amazing news for Mint and of course the Face Connect girls because they are all going to Anime NYC to do a concert. This is Face Connect's first East Coast concert. Is landing at Anime Anime NYC. We're happy to be haunted by our special guest Mint Phantom. You don't want to miss. Or Mint Phantom, whatever. You want to miss Leah's first main stage performance. Of course, it's going to be August 25th, 2.45 p.m. ET, Eastern Time. So that's going to be three hours before that on uh, Pacific Time. It's going to be 11.45 Pacific Time on August 25th. And all of that will be you know, based that on where you are to see exactly when it's going to be. More details on the talents and ticketing coming soon. Get your Anime NYC badge below. It is for, you know, the actual being there. So it's going to be 2.45 p.m. If you are actually going to be going to Anime NYC, this is a good live to take a look at. Face Connect's first NYC live, sponsored by SPWN, or Spawn is my guess. Uh, 2.45 p.m. to 4.15 p.m. So it's an hour and 30 minutes at any any CN Anime NYC main stage. Featuring Pippa, Tenma, Leah, Uruka, and special guest Mint. Face Connect first NYC live. What a great day to be alive. My Oshi's all on the same stage. I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to cry. And then you have, could you please confirm if Pippa the Ripper will be on the set list? That'd be hilarious if it was. Because if I'm not mistaken, I mean, you know, it's sarcastically, but she really doesn't seem to enjoy Pippa the Ripper, the, 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 uh, the memes that have become part of it. Uh, she's honorary Vishojo member. Now she's honorary phase member. Who will she join next? You forgot she's an honorary, honorary Doki Ko member. Not joining Corpo, so she can temporarily be a part of any one of them. Was the Galaxy Brain move? We never knew all along. Exactly. Now that she's a, not a part of a Corpo, she can join any one of them. She can have contracts with any one of them for specific moments like this, or just, you know, be invited by any one of them, as long as the schedule works. That works best for her. I'm glad that she's doing that. Of course, let's not try to force 
anybody into anything, whether it be a corporation or anything else, if they are themselves not ready for it or not looking for it. Eventually, Mint will have collected all the honorary member titles and involved to the ultimate honorary made member. Good for Mint, though, creating connections with any other content creators in different agencies is a great idea and will greatly expand our friend network. The expander friend network, it'll expand uh, any sponsorship opportunities, anything like that. It will expand a lot because it's good to have that type of thing. That's the kind of community I like to create as well, where everybody is, you know, trying to chat and get along with each other. The memes, Mason, what do they mean and how can I see more of them? Uh, suffering sicklings are gullible sicklings, heck, prob hex, probably. Uh, debilitating mental illness, sickling, hex. Spit in my face, my love, not my problem. Yeah. A lot of times they treat that as not their problem, even though they seem to push it like he does with his Fujoshi baiting and stuff like that. He and his fans have a good chemistry like chlorine, bleach, and ammonia. Mmm, bleach. I remain unaffected. <laughs> People putting more stuff here. I remain unaffected. Ah, uh, it's fun to see these things. Welcome again to our VTuber showcase where I try to give back to the VTuber community who has given so much to me by showing you and showcasing putting a spotlight on smaller creators, medium-sized creators, creators of all sizes, who I feel, you know, deserve a little bit of spotlight on them. Every single one of you do. Every single VTuber out there, big and small, do. Unfortunately, I don't have the size for that, so I don't have, a, I don't have uh, as much time as I would like to give each and every one of you what you deserve. So here we go with Bubble Celeste. They say, Bubble Bonjour. I'm Bull, I'm Bull, Bull, Bull. But if you're caught in my bubble instead, I like doing fairly relaxing or funny stuff and sharing these good times with you, as a lot of creators do. Uh, I hope we can spend a great moment together and make sweet memories. What are these sweet memories they want to talk about? It's things like this on their their, their stream that they recently had one day ago on doing um, some power washing, letting letting the uh, the power of their stream. Uh, squid pie, I haven't seen squid pie in a few streams. But that's because they have a hard time like catching the streams. Metallion was there a bit earlier. He's going to come back later too. I know he's working while watching these or Of course, I'm glad that they they have a community behind them. They do seem to have a nice strong community behind them. And you know, I'm just giving you guys a view of what it could be if you join and watch them. Uh you know, they've been doing a lot of recent streams, discovering, uh, you know, Stardew Valley. They've been doing basically chatting streams where they are doing some uh, Scriblio. They're doing uh, AI stuff. They pop in with, you know, the chat GPT type of character AI type of thing, giving you an idea of, of what they are and who they are. And of course, why you should maybe take a look at them. Um, thank you so much for being a part of this Bubble Celeste. I do hope that this helps you grow. And it helps a couple of more eyes uh, be focused on you. And, you know, you can win them over. You always have the chance to win anybody over. I always take every single video as a chance to help win people over. So I hope this goes well for you. And I hope that this has been a good experience for you. And thank you again for being part of the VTuber Showcase. That is all for right now. Of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys. And I do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment. Take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord. There's Twitter. There's other places that you can check me out. Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.